Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to take your van from this to this. You can see the material list of what went into this paint job at the description below and links to each of those products if you want to purchase them yourselves. To complete this Raptor skirt, it took about 10 bottles of one litre Raptor paint. The first step is to mask up everything and remove the plastics from the van. We've used a special trim tool to remove all of the plastics. We need to give everything a good clean down using some panel wipe and then we'll use some masking tape, some masking sheet and some plastic to cover all of the areas above the skirt line that we don't want to apply any paint to. We've utilised standard yellow masking tape from Indassa and also a blue fine line uh, nine mil tape to get a really sharp edge on that paint line. So you need to remove absolutely everything underneath the skirt line of the van. We've removed all of the plastic trims, the light fittings, the bumper, and then we've covered up with dust sheets and masking paper, any areas above this paint line and protect it from any overspray. To get a really good finish, you want to make sure you can go into the door seals and you're gonna to need to use some plastic lining paper to cover the cab area and the sliding door area when you're doing these door seals and be careful to make sure that there's no holes because you don't want to get any paint inside the van itself. So to set up your paint sprayer you're going to need a compressor and an inline regulator and make sure that you're wearing sufficient PPE, a mask, a respirator and you want to cover up as much of your skin as possible when conducting this spray job. It's important before you go onto the van itself to do a couple of test runs on some off cuts of uh, scrap metal that you have lying around so that you can work out the regulator pressure and the distance away from the material that you need to be spraying to get the effect that you want. When the Raptor paint goes hard, you can see a nice textured finish that gives it that off-road rugged look. When you're conducting the spraying itself, you want to overlap each run and make sure you get good coverage, keeping the gun evenly distanced away from the material. Work your way around the entirety of the skirt and between each coat, just give it a check over to make sure that there are no spots uh, bleeding through from the base paint colour. So you're going to want to wait 45 minutes between each coat and apply a total of three coats uh, until you're happy with the finish and the texture that you're going for. It's important when you're removing the blue fine line tape to do this within that 45 minute period, just so that the paint doesn't fully set. Because if you leave it too long and then remove the paint, it will pull off, it won't give that crisp finish line. And you can see from this clip here, it gives a really sharp, nice crisp edge to that paint line. Once you're happy and applied all your three coats, you want to leave this good 48 hours with that before um, putting back on the ancillaries like your plastics and your bumpers. You applied an epoxy primer to all of plastics and applied again three coats of Raptor so that it all ties in nicely once the plastics are put back on. And you can see from these photos, the finished result we're really happy with. Cheers for watching this video. Please like and subscribe to our channel for more van life content and I'll see you next time.